it's important for everyone involved in the sales process to understand that it is a process. It's not something you just ad lib or make up as you go. As a matter of fact, there are six distinct steps in the process. And this is one of the first things I teach because it's the framework for all the other material that comes after it. In the eight-week service writer training program that I do online, I'll be teaching your service writer the skills that he or she needs to be successful in each one of these steps. Now, let me give you let me give you a sort of a preview here of exactly what these steps are. The first step is the greeting and first impression. Okay, customers decide in 15 to 30 seconds whether they like you and they trust you. If in those first 15 to 30 seconds they decide that they like you and they trust you, the sales process is a piece of cake. If they decide that they don't like you and they don't trust you, you have a mountain to climb. The good news is your service writer has total control over how those 15 to 30 seconds go. If they say exactly the right thing and do exactly the right thing in that time period, they're going to win every time and the customer is going to start off liking them and trusting them. If they don't, well, you're in trouble. The next step to the sales process is the information gathering step. In this phase of the process, you've got to get the information you need from the customer to make a successful sale. You've got to get them to give you the tools that you need to turn around and then do a proper diagnosis and a complete sales process. But you're not going to get that information if you don't ask the right questions. That's one of the key things I teach is exactly the right questions to ask the customer to get the information that you need to do a complete and effective sales process. Now, the next step in the sales process, what, why, when, how much? If you can answer the what, why, when, how much part of the process, the customer is going to say yes, and they're going to let you can let you do the work, and they're going to pay you. But you've got to hit every step in the process, and that's what I teach your service writer how to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you some samples of, of exactly what your service writer should be saying and a couple key points in the what, why, when, how much. Excuse me. Objections and closing the sale. Now, if you do the what, why, when, how much properly, you probably aren't going to have objections. However, even if you do it fantastically, sometimes customers are going to throw up objections, reasons why they can't do business with you. I'm going to bust a couple myths about objections here in a minute, and I'm going to talk to you about how to um, handle those objections in an organized fashion, and again, win every time. Upsell. If you're not upselling successfully, or if your service writer is not upselling successfully, you're going to go out of business. You cannot, in this day and age, simply fix what the customer comes in and asks you to fix and expect to make enough money to stay in business. You have to upsell. And I have a whole bunch of different ways to show your service writer how to successfully upsell service. I'm going to share one or two of them here with you today. And then the final step is customers for life. And this is, this is the area where most service writers fall down. Because, see, your service writer, one of their primary jobs should be to build a relationship with that customer when they come in. Because, again, if you just fix somebody's car once and they go on their way and you never see them again, you're going to go out of business. However, if you build a relationship with them and you fix their car every time it needs work and you do such a good job and create such a wow experience that they send their friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, everybody they know to your shop, you're going to have a thriving business and you're going to spend virtually nothing on marketing. And I'm not exaggerating. In my first shop, when I took over, we had maybe 5% repeat business. The people that had the shop before me stole from customers. They cheated them. They lied to them. Nobody ever came back. They came into the shop once, and they never came again. And not only that, but they went and told all their friends and family members and neighbors and coworkers not to come near the shop. Now, fast forward to the end of the first year, we had 80 to 90% repeat and referral business. Why? 
because we built customers for life. Now, how does that, what does that 80 to 90% repeat and referral business do for you? Well, the year before I got to my first shop, it struggled to do 250,000 in gross sales. The first year I was there, we did a million. Okay, that's the power of customers for life. And because we were doing so much repeat and referral business, it was hard to get a brand new customer on the schedule because we had so much business that we didn't have to go out and spend marketing money for because we created wow experiences and customers for life. That's something really important that I teach your service writer how to do in the eight-week online service writer training class. So. Let's talk about some uh, some samples here in detail. And again, remember I told you to have your uh, your uh, pen and paper out. Well, let me give you just another second to make sure you've got it. If you don't have it handy, go grab it because this is where you're really going to want to start taking notes. Okay, you got your pen and paper. Here we go. How much will it cost? I can't tell you how many times I've seen service writers say something like this. Uh, well, it's going to be about $650. How's that sound to you? What do you think of that? Do you want to do it? Okay. If somebody says that to me and they say, how does that sound to me? I'm going to say that sounds horrible. Do better. Okay. <laughs> by, by phrasing the price and presenting the price that way, the service writer is just begging, begging the customer to object. Okay. That's not what I teach. Here's how you're supposed to deliver the price. The total cost of the repair, parts, labor, and sales tax, is $835.68. Do you have any coupons? Are you a member of the Car Care Club? Silence. Let me repeat that. The total cost of the repair, parts, labor, and sales tax, is $865.35. Do you have any coupons? Are you a member of the Car Care Club? silence. I'm not asking the customer if they like the price, if they want to do it, uh, what they think of it. I'm telling them the price and then I'm asking them two very valuable questions after I present the price. Okay, So they're not thinking about the price, they're thinking about the two valuable questions that I've just asked them. Now, why can I do this? Well, let me explain and this is something really important that I teach in the class because I think your service writers see I don't believe in in making people dumb puppets who are just reciting a script I want them to understand why they're doing what they're doing so they can think about it and they can use these tools in all areas of their sales process so here's why you can do this when the customer walks into your shop and is standing in front of you he's telling you something and you know what he's telling you He's telling you that out of all the other options he had, out of all the other choices he had, out of all the other people he could have had work on his car, for some reason, and you have no idea what the reason is, maybe a piece of marketing, maybe word of mouth, who knows, but for some reason, he's standing there in front of you because he believes that you are the best possible solution to his problem. Think about that for a minute and let it sink in. He's standing there because he believes you are the best possible solution to his problem. Now, all we have to do in the sales process is just not destroy this fantastic belief that he has. See, that's a myth. Service writers tend to think that they've got to climb this mountain, that they've got to convince the, the customer to do something they don't want to do, that, heaven forbid, they've even got to trick them into doing something they don't want to do. That is it couldn't be further from the truth. The customer is saying that they believe you're the best solution. All we have to do is not change that belief. So that brings us back to this statement. Because they've already told me at the beginning they want to do business with me, I don't have to ask them if they want to do business with me. I don't have to get their permission again. I don't have to beg them for an objection. I just have to tell them what the price is. And then I'm going to ask them a couple of really profitable questions. This is a huge, huge, this is a million dollar slide, okay? And it's a huge tool to use in your shop, especially when you understand why it works. Okay, let's talk about another one. Objections. Another myth here, okay? 
if you ask a service writer, if you know, if you have a hundred customers and they all give you an objection, how many different objections do you have? And they're going to say a hundred different objections. Every customer has their own little unique reason why they can't do business with us. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth. Ninety-seven percent of your objections are going to fall into one of five categories. And if you can, if your service writer can quickly identify what category the objection falls into, and then use some magic words to handle each objection, and I'm not talking long paragraphs of memorized script, I'm talking about a few key words and phrases for each objection, then they're going to win every single time. So what are the five categories of objections? Here they are. Your price is too high. I need it sooner. I need to talk to somebody before I choose to do the repair. I have to wait until something happens. I get a paycheck, a social security check, something happens until I do the repair, and I'll get back to you. If your service writer has the tools and the words to respond, to first identify which category the objection falls into, and then respond to each one of these objections, again, you're going to win every single time. Now, this is a little nugget just for you. And you'll enjoy this. How many of you get tortured every day between, particularly between 11 and 1 with this phone call? Um, hey, I was on lunch and I was just wondering, uh, how you coming on my car? Is it done yet? Uh, when will it be ready? Okay. And what's happening while your service writer is answering those questions? Well, he's not doing something more productive like talking to other customers, managing the work in the shop, ordering parts, building jobs, and perhaps even selling another job. So, would you agree that the more of these calls we can eliminate, the better our life will be and the more productive your service writer will be? Of course. Okay, I can't see you nodding your head, but you should be. So, let's take a let's take a look here at a tool to do that. It's real simple. At the end of the information gathering process, this is the last step. Hey, Mr. Customer, just wanted to let you know that in most cases here, we offer same-day service. What I mean is that unless we have a parts problem, your car will be ready at 5 p.m. today. Now, because of that, there's no need to call up and ask me how it's going because if you don't hear from me, that's good news. That means that your car will be ready at 5, so just show up at 5 and you'll be ready to go. If we have a parts problem, or if for some reason it gets done earlier, don't worry, I'll call and let you know. But if you don't hear from me, no need to call, just be here at 5 o'clock, it'll be ready to go. Now, with that one set of words, we have effectively eliminated all those phone calls in the middle of the day. Okay. All we had to do was say a few magic words, and all of a sudden, our service writer got a whole lot more productive. It's really, really important to understand that in every transaction, there's key leverage points. And if you say the right words at those points, again, not a script that turns people into robots, but just a few key words at a few key points, you change the entire sales process and make it infinitely more profitable. That's what this set of words does. Upsells. Okay, I told you I'd give you some tools on upsells. Upsells are vital to your business and your profitability. If you're not doing them effectively, like I said, you'll go out of business. I've seen plenty of shops do that, okay, because they could not make an upsell. So how do you make an effective upsell? Well, here's one of the many ways, not just the one way, but the many ways that I teach your service writers in the online service writer training course how to do it. For just a small investment, you get a lot more peace of mind. Unexpected breakdowns are incredibly inconvenient and sometimes even dangerous. Why don't we just go ahead and take care of this now while the car is here today? Okay, what's, what's happening here? Well, first, it's important to recognize that people make buying decisions based on emotion, not logic. They make an emotional decision and then they find some logic to lay over the top of that emotional decision so they can feel really good about it, like they made a really solid analytical decision. But the, the ultimate decision gets made at the emotional level. So 
This set of words, what's it do? It's an emotionally charged tool to put the customer in a frame of mind to buy whatever ethically appropriate upsell you're offering. And what words are the key words? Well, incredibly inconvenient. What picture comes into the customer's mind when they hear those words? Eh, putting the key in the ignition, turning it, having, it, having nothing happen, being broken down by the side of the road, and sometimes even dangerous. Now what picture pops into the customer's head? Being broken down by the side of the road at 1 o'clock in the morning, in the middle of nowhere, in a snowstorm, in a short sleeve shirt? <laughs> okay, you get the idea. It's dangerous. Okay, and then why don't we just take, go ahead and take care of this now while the car is here today. What happens on a day when a customer has to bring a car in for service? Think about it for a second. They have to get up early. They have to make special arrangements for the kids, take them somewhere or have somebody else take them somewhere. They have to swap cars with a spouse. They have to get a neighbor or friend or somebody to follow them, to give them a ride to work, to get them back to home. They have to go through all kinds of chaos to get that car dropped off to get it worked on. And the last thing they want to do is have to do that again. So all I have to do is say, why don't we just go ahead and take care of this now while the car is here today? Or even so you don't have to bring it in again. It's going to put the customer in a frame of mind to do anything that's reasonable and ethical that I ask them to do as far as an upsell. That's a powerful, powerful tool. And again, one of many tools that I teach your service writer how to use successfully in the service writer training course online. Okay, here's a great one. And and if you if you can get your service writer uh, to do this, <laughs> you're going to see your closing ratio on appointments go up by about 50%. Okay? I don't know how many times I've seen a service writer do a fantastic job or reasonably good job even getting the customer ready to get an appointment. And then they say something like, so can you bring it in today? Uh, do you want to bring it in tomorrow? Uh, when do you want to bring it in? Every one of those is a horrible question. The correct question is, hey, I have an opening tomorrow at 7.30 or Friday at 8. Which would be best for you? Again, hey, I have an opening tomorrow at 7.30 or Friday at 8. Which would be best for you? This is called an alternative of choice close, and 50% more people will make a yes choice when it's presented this way. 50% more will make a yes choice when it's presented this way. It's really, really important. I have, I teach my service writers to do nothing but this as far as offering the customer an opportunity to come in when, it, when, they're, when they have them on the phone. Why? Because it's the only correct way to set an appointment, and it works 50% better than any other way. These are the things your service writers need to know, and not just need to know, but need to be using and need to have somebody watching them and talking to them on a regular basis to make sure they're using these skills. So now you've seen some samples, and if you want to know, if you know anything about sales, you know every one of these is a winner. As a matter of fact, Josh, would you agree that everything that I've shown here today works exactly as advertised in the real world? Yes, I can certainly vouch for that, so much so that I actually kept you know, the magic word sheet printed out next to my phone and computer so I could refer back to it literally every time I was on the phone because, yeah, it works. That's all I can say. You know, when you listen to Josh's story and you look at the samples you just received, if you know anything about sales, it should be crystal clear to you that this training is incredibly valuable. So the question now is how do you get this powerful training in your shop for your service writer? Well, that's the great part. Starting next week, I'll be teaching an eight-week-long live webinar training program. And don't worry, if you can't make the live webinar, every webinar is going to be recorded and you'll get a copy as long as you sign up for the training today. That's right. In eight weeks, your service writer is going to get all the same training and tools that allow Josh to go from $198 an RO to $435 an RO and produce a $29,559 month-over-month increase in January. 
the same tools you've seen here tonight, <coughs> excuse me, plus hundreds more. As a matter of fact, your service writer will actually be able to call Josh for advice and suggestions on how to implement these tools and get over any hurdles or obstacles that they face to putting this training into effect. And they're also going to get a printable magic word sheet with every single magic word we teach in the course. And they can use it as a cheat sheet to have by the phone while they're learning. Now, the retail on the web-based service writer training program, including the recordings, which you can use as often as you like in the future, is $1,294. That's $1,294. However, in the email I sent you, I promised fantastic. <laughs> so, the cost for you, if you're listening to this webinar, is only $794. But hang on, I told you at the beginning I was going to have a fantastic opportunity for some of you on the call. <laughs> There's a lot more. See, I teach service writers <clears throat> how to over deliver and create wow experiences, and I believe in practicing what I preach. So, here's an extra special bonus for those of you on the call who are decisive and can move very quickly. In addition to doing service writer training, I also coach shop owners all over the country on marketing, shop management, financial controls, and growth and exit strategies. In my coaching program, you get a weekly report with profit tips and tools that will improve your business. You also get access to a library of proven marketing pieces that have worked and brought millions of dollars into, the, into my members' businesses over the years. I'm talking about the actual marketing pieces that they've created and put out there that have brought money in consistently. So in this, so I want to be clear, in this library, you're not going to have a bunch of loser pieces and things that didn't, you're only going to have pieces that worked, okay? And you're going to get the hiring and compensation program I use to staff and manage 21 shops, plus, most important of all, you get total unlimited access to me. You'll actually have my cell phone number, and every time we talk, I'll focus all of my experience of successfully growing and operating 21 shops on you and your challenges and opportunities that you're facing in your shop. And I've been doing this for over 10 years now, and I've helped thousands of shop owners get the income and lifestyle they deserve out of their shop. So I guarantee you I can do the same for you. So in the interest of over-delivering, and creating a wow experience, here's the extra special bonus for watching this webinar. When you sign up for the eight weeks online service writer training program on this webinar, you'll get the entire service writer training program, the free recordings, one-on-one -on -one coaching with Josh for your service writer to implement the tools that they're learning, the printable magic word sheet, and you'll get Two, week, two months of my coaching program, including the weekly report, the access to the marketing library of winning marketing pieces, the hiring and compensation package that I used to staff and run those 21 shops, and total access to me. Now, all you have to do to get the entire service writer training program and the shop owner coaching bonus is click on the order now button. It just appeared on your screen, but you've got to hurry because only 15 shop owners are going to get this offer. Why? Because of the one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have so many coaching clients right now that I only have time in my schedule for 15 additional people. So if you're on this call, You've made an investment of your time to listen to it. Now make the investment pay off. Click on the Order Now button to get the entire Service Writer Training Program and the Shop Owner Coaching Bonus for only $794. Again, all you have to do is just click on the Order Now button. And <clears throat> remember, this video is being seen by over 3,000 shop owners. So you don't want to miss out. I said... This offer is going to be for people who are decisive and can act quickly. If you're one of those people, click on the Order Now button. Oh, one more piece of good news. 
as always, with anything I do, the entire program comes with my 100% money-back guarantee. If at the end of two months you feel like you didn't receive any value, just call me up and let me know, and I'll gladly refund every single penny. It doesn't get any better than this. A completely risk-free opportunity to not only get your service writer the training they desperately need, but to also get you the coaching you need to get the income and lifestyle you deserve out of your shop. So click on the Order Now button. You know, it, 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 actually, Josh, before we wrap up, do you have any final thoughts? Yeah, I just the, the thought that goes through my head is what was going through my head when I had all the difficulty, which was, you know, what am I going to do to make tomorrow different from today? And this is the opportunity to do that because if you don't make a conscious decision to make tomorrow different than today, it won't be. You're going to have the same thing over and over again, which is if you're not what you're happy, if it's not, if you're not happy with what you got, do something to make it different. This is that chance. So, yeah, I, thought, I could couldn't have said it better myself. You know, you're not going to find a better opportunity to get the training for your service writer and the coaching for yourself. And remember, it's a hundred percent guaranteed. If it doesn't work, if you aren't satisfied, all you do is call up and tell me that, and all of your money is going to be refunded. However, what's going to happen is if you click the Order Now button and you get the service writer training and the coaching, you're going to see an incredible boost in both your profits and your peace of mind. You've come this far. You've put your time in on the call. Make it pay off. There's no risk to you. Get the training for your service writer. Get the tr coaching for yourself and watch your profits and your peace of mind climb. Get the income and lifestyle you deserve out of your shop. Thank you for taking the time to be on this call. I look forward to working with both you and your service writer.